In this tutorial, we're going to look at the payment function and use it to calculate a loan repayment figure or in fact use it to calculate what our mortgage payments would be if we were to purchase a house. Now this should tie to any other calculation or mortgage calculation figure you would find online. It's a standard formula that everyone uses and you can see just how useful it is in Excel. Now if you get lost or you feel like you need some support, well, you can download the workbook you see in this video from the resources provided. Okay, so let's get started on the payment function. This is where we're going to enter in our formula. So I've got a house I'm looking to buy. The price is 250000 And in option A, I'm going to put a 10% deposit down. Okay, so I'm only going to borrow 225,000. So that's the amount of the loan. That's important. The bits in orange here or the cells in orange are the cells which are relevant to the formula or function we're going to use. Okay, the mortgage rate I've been quoted is 4.99% and the mortgage term we're going to or the loan term we're going to use is 30 years. Okay, so let's get started. Type in equals PMT for payment, open bracket, and we're going to take a rate of 4.99%. So I'm going to link the formula. Here's the rate, it's telling me I need the rate. I'm going to link it to 4.99%, fix it to that row. Now, this is important because we want to calculate the monthly mortgage amount. Okay, it's the monthly repayment that we're interested in. So we're going to further advance this function we need this to be divided by 12 because the rate 4.99% is an annual rate. So let's put it into a monthly rate, 12 months in a year, divided by 12. Next, over what period of time? Okay, well let's link it to the number of years, which is the 30 years, and we need to do this as well by 30 years at 12 months. Because again, we're working out at the monthly rate. So we link it to 30 times 12. Okay. Because there are 30 times 12 months in the total period of months that we're looking at. Then we're going to come over here to present value. So in other videos, we have looked at the present value formula. Here we're going to put the value of the loan that we're looking to acquire. So put a negative first so the number that gets returned will return a positive Let's put a negative and you link it to loan value 225,000 because that's what we're borrowing okay fix it to that row close off the formula and okay right so borrowing 225,000 pounds at a rate of 4.99 percent a year over 30 years is going to cost me £1,206 per month. Okay? Well, let's look at option B and option C. Let's copy that formula across, and I'm going to do it by copying the formula and just pasting just the formula in. If I take out a 15% deposit and put £37,500 down, and therefore I'm borrowing less, my repayments are going to be £1,139 a month. And if I put down a 25% deposit, I'm going to be borrowing even less, almost on the nose £1,000. Okay, so what, what is more beneficial for me? Let's say I can afford to put down either deposit. I have that luxury. The total interest I would pay back on option A would be 209000 and on option C, over the 30 years, I'd only be paying back 174,000 in interest. So you can see how useful this function can be to pre-calculate mortgages and link it to specific variables. You can perform all kinds of analysis, perhaps even on your own mortgage. And you could even discount using the present value formula from one of our other videos, what that money, today's money that you're spending is actually going to be worth tomorrow. So you could take this to a whole nother level. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.